right so this is a recording of what we covered with Cooper earlier this week so that you've got something to work to um, other times if you would like to so I'm going to make it shorter less reps um, so it's one that you can literally just get done in in a short space of time so about 15-20 like, minutes probably something like that of me so first thing we want to do is uh, is to warm up so we are just going to do the figure of eight of row the legs but we're going to guide so that Cooper isn't going too fast around the legs that's a good boy so it's not a race we want it nice and steady he's a good boy that's nice rippers chippers choppers slow down good girl good good and again every there that's very good so you're going to do a wrap oh hello rip doing an extra one around let's find it four figure of eight so that he's done eight legs in total if that makes sense as a nice warm up oh maybe you've got the wrong one Ripley got one for doing nothing. There you go. Um, so once he's done that, he's had a little bit of a warm up. I'm trying to remember everything we did. Um, we are then looking at going through the Cavaletti. So um, yet again, I've forgotten to bring the poles home. So I'm literally just using the base that we put under the rocker board because <laughs> you know what the Cavaletti should look like. So we're starting down one end. Just need one dog for this for a moment. Take a cam. And we want trotting, trotting, turn clockwise, for example, and then trot, trot, turn anti-clockwise. Good. Trot, trot, turn clockwise. Trot, trot, turn anti-clockwise. That's good. So that each time he turns a different <laughs> direction. That's good. That way. Good girl. Let him go get it. So that he's turned direction each time because then you're getting an extra part of the warm-up as well as the cavaletti so the cavaletti doesn't have to be as manic as that nice and steady nice and slow you can keep him in a stay move ahead and then call him to you or you can go with him whatever seems to work best for cooper at the time and then each time he comes off the cavaletti he's either going clockwise or anti-clockwise to turn and then back through so we do come back to these so um, for the initial set you can maybe go this way and then back again um, sort of three or four times, it hasn't got to be too many, but it's just there as part of the warm up, and then the turns also help the warm up because obviously it's stretching out the body um, side to side. So I'm trying out, John's got me a new um, tripod with light and stuff, um, but I can't get, I can't, <laughs> I can either have the light leaning or, or nothing. I can't get the, the actual phone part to lean because that's where the phone part should go. So this is on a different tripod on the floor. <laughs> So yeah, so I'm trying to make it all uh, make it all visible. Not easy. Um, anywho, so then we were doing some sits and downs and stands, weren't we? So we need um, the two items that are solid. So two. Um, I need you to get out of there, really. Thank you. Um, so that was your board, chopping board, work surface, and yoga block we were using for you at home. I'm going to use these two things here and you want the gap in the middle so you've got a straddle basically I'm stuck um, and some more treats otherwise we're going to get nothing out of these two got them got them so then all we want go over there rippers okay is the straddle and then that nice little bit of weight shifting that we do okay so you don't need to have a straddle at different heights like Merlin is it's just what I had to hand so backwards like that, forward again, then come back, forward again, then come back, okay? And the other way of doing it is to do touch and then treat curly. Touch and treat, touch, treat, touch, treat. So you're getting that nice movement, okay? Slightly slower than I'm getting these to do. Again, I'm just trying to sort of do it so it's it's not too long a video for you, but I'm trying to do all the repetitions that I want you to do with Cooper so that it, it's going to be almost true to true to time, as it were. Um, so yeah, so he just needs to be leaning, straightened, leaning, straightened, but we're doing it in that nice straddle. Once he's done that, you can praise him, let him come off, and this is quite happy to be on there. And then while he's on there, we are getting... Oh, oh, 
Oh, we've changed dogs. Straddle. We're doing downs. Good boy. And up to a stand. There's a good boy. That's nice. Down. Good. And stand. Yes. So you want it as much on the spot as possible, like that was. Down. Good boy. Stand. Because then you're working the back end. Good man and off. Ripley straddle. <laughs> Come back. Straddle. Good girl. Down. Down. Good. Stand. That wasn't anything, was it? Merlin, go away. Ripley down. Stand. Yes, good girl. Good girl. So, um, however you need to do the down, you can do it via a sit first and then down, if that works better. But it's more the down up to the stand that we are looking for. So it doesn't really matter how he gets into that down position. Once he's down, to go into the stand, we don't want to be luring him forward. We want hardly any movement forward at all with the tree. In fact, almost going straight up slightly forward if he needs it just to get started so that his, his back end basically just goes up so bum legs <laughs> just goes like that okay as much as possible because that way he's then working uh thoracic and, and lumbar spine he's working the hips and the pelvis and he's working all down his back end here so that's what we want him to do but it's quite nice and quite gentle okay so the reason i wanted it on solid stuff rather than um bouncy stuff <laughs> inflatable stuff is, uh, is I want him to, to be working hard without overworking at the moment, um, just to make sure that we, you know everything's okay with that, that leg. Um, so a few of those, you can do sort of four to six of those. So four to six down and stand is one. Uh, big bottom, you come off there and you come off there for a moment, please. Or you can just do that, that's fine. Um, so then we were looking at um, doing a little, course so the little course we had several items Ugh. okay <laughs> you two are idiots get off so we're starting with this down one end we're not sure you'll be able to see because of the restrictions with this different tripod money oh, i'll put the treats away look there's nothing in my hand and then we had fit bone and then we had something else that's solid although it's not solid for me uh, and all we had, I'm sure I have something else, I'm missing something, what am I missing? Something else, so we've got solid, wobbly, solid, wobbly, solid, is that how we did it? Did we do wobbly? Wobbly, solid, wobbly, solid, wobbly, it must have been, yeah, God. Right. Get off. Let's put this here. <laughs> Get out the way. Get out the way. All right, I'm not sure. I can't remember now. It's been far too many days since then. <laughs> so, what I've got, rightly or wrongly, I've got wobbly, my version of solid, which we're using. Ow. The rocker board, fit bone. Is that, I'm sure that's not how we had it. I'm sure the fit bone was on, was on two or four. Oh, something along these lines. I'm, I'm, having a, I'm having a memory day today. So we've got, yes, we've got five items in a row and they alternate between wobbly and not wobbly. I'm sure the very first thing was a balance disc, but then that doesn't make a lot of sense because they're the fit bone. Oh, I don't know. Five things. <laughs> it probably make more sense to you with the stuff that you were using. So, and then all we're doing so we're starting with item one with just a pause up from there we want pause up on two items and just get a stand and then we're going to have okay there please pause up on the next oh my god next two items pause up on the next two and then pause up on the next two and then off rippers pause up good girl good you two are mental Good. Good girl. And then walk off. Yes, good. So that we're then pausing between each piece of equipment, basically. So that Cooper is having to... Each time he stops, he's engaging the muscles, basically, but in a different way. So depending on whether he's on something that moves or something solid, his muscles will work in different ways. And it just means that he's more aware of what he's doing, more aware of his body and his body's engaging, contracting, you know, 
um, everything's moving and working but in a really nice uh, gentle way so, so no impact stuff so we're just going across so doing that maybe three or four times in both directions but just stopping on each piece of equipment I was given a treat for each bit trying to stop them from just racing across but you don't have to do that you can literally ask them to do it and stand and then stand and stand and stand and then treat at the end that works just as well or just just make the treats tidy you know what you're doing with that once you've got that um let them come off give them a break for a moment okay and then same idea right it's not that exciting I can tell you haven't been out yet um, I'm just going to see if I can move, the, well I can move it because <laughs> it's in my hand. I'm just wondering if I can do, oh, it doesn't make it any better does it really? No that's actually probably worse because now you can't see anything, <laughs> oh my god. Right let's try it on there. There you go, that's not so bad is it? Right, so you almost see everything now. So then it's the same idea, it's the same but different basically. Then we were adding in you go up there and get that, Merlin. Pause up. Oh. oh my god. What a lunatic. Sit. Sit. Good. All calm. Right, so walking on, back up. When you get to back end on solid and front end on wobbly, we're going to get a sit. Good boy. And then a... Come back here. And then a stand. Oh my god, Merlin, why are you insane? And then just a normal stand. And then sit, stand, put your bum in the air, thank you, good boy. Well, so he only does the sit to stand at the minute when his back end is on the solid parts of that mini course, okay? So front end on something wobbly, back end on something solid, a sit to a stand, move on to the next one, which will just be a stand, move on to the next one, sit to stand, and then move on, stand and come off. So that then... Um, again, he's got something nice and solid to get some purchase on. So he's just standing still there. Pause up. Sit. Good girly. And stand. Can't see because Merlin's in the way as normal. A stand. And then sit to stand. Good girly. That's nice. Okay. So again, we can do this up and down. So maybe four times. So twice in each direction or four times in each direction. Um, if he's looking okay. Um, I remember that he was starting to look fatigued when he was doing this. So we don't want to go overboard, but obviously doing the balance stuff does tire them out. So see how he gets on. You can always do one going across with the sits to stand, take him off, let him go and have a drink, take him off, just have a fuss, and then go the other way, stop again. Um, you could go up and down and then come off and do something completely different, go to the Cavalettis perhaps, um, just break it up here and there. Um, but yeah, so no more than kind of four in both directions of this one, because it is quite a tiring one. Uh, right, let's get rid of that. Then, uh, I can't remember what equipment I was using for the pool. Right, I'm, come on. Off. Off. You come on. <laughs> pair of tweets. Get off of it. Right, let's move this back. Off. So, rocker board on the base. I'm sure we had had more than one item, but I can't remember what they were. Um, so, good girl. Right, Ripley, it's there. Go find it. So, we've got sit, and then we're getting a paw at a right angle and treat. That's a good boy. It's a treat anyway, paw. Right angle. Good boy. So, sitting up ideally, not leaning forward like Melvin's doing. Good girl, sit. Pull. Good. What's that, you don't? Pull. Good. Maybe you've got a bit of Savaloy skill in your body now. Here you go. Good girl. Um, so you're going to do that. So the arm, the paw comes up to about a right angle. So he's not reaching out, he's not lifting it up too high, but he is lifting so that you're getting that slight, can you move your bum? That slight bit. No, you can't wait. The slight movement here the slight um weight shifting side to side as he's lifting that paw each time but we're not putting a lot of pressure onto that back end so that's why we're getting the sit so you can either do it just on the rocking board like this um or if he's got the energy to do it then you could do it still in a sit but with the front feet on the fit bone let him sit good boy paw good other paw no 
there. Good boy. So the melon was too high first of all, so I've just lowered it down a little bit. So you could do it that way, um, but always in a sit now, so not standing for this one, okay? Because I don't want to put any more pressure on the back legs. So then we were coming off. We were going back to the Epiletti. <laughs> How are you two that have broken necks by now? I do not know. Because you're both mental. So just doing the same thing as before, going through the cavaletti with a turn, through the cavaletti and turn the other way. Get rid of you, Ripley. Good. There we go. Do, 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 do. And turn. Yay. So again, just doing that a couple of times in both directions, not too much, but that's another way of seeing how tired he's getting. So what you can do is if you set your phone or your laptop up, um, where you have it for our zooms, then as he's walking away, you can glance over and see how he's looking um, and just see how them back legs are. Because when he starts, he's got quite a nice bit of a trot going on. When he starts getting tired, he's literally just kind of just, just about lifting the legs up and you can see it takes a lot more effort to do. So if he's starting to get tired, then, then we know not to go and go any further. Um, but see how he gets on with that, because he might do, might do better on a different day. Thank you for that, Ripley, that was lovely. Um, so yeah, so a couple more sets of the Cavalettis going through there, there like that. I've got a funny thing, I've missed something out, but I can't for life me think what. What have I missed? Because <laughs> you're not much good, are you? Um, I can't think we did some sits to stands, just on the floor. My brain ain't working today. So we can do, oh, sit, yeah, sits to downs, good boy, to stands, good. That's very nice. Rippers, chippers. No, good girl, sit, down, and stand. Yes, good girl. So yeah, um, that should have been earlier, <laughs> I forgot. So put it in somewhere. Um, you can either put it in at the start after the figure of eights and after the first set of Cavaletti, um, or you can put it in now, because that will work just as well. And what we're doing with that movement for them three positions, we're just getting Cooper to again work the joints and the muscles in lots of different directions, lots of different ways, but in a controlled way. So it's different to when they're running and turning and stuff. Um, it keeps it all very nice and under control. Um, so a few of those, so not too many. If we're doing it at the start, then you could maybe do, as a set, of a, a, a sit, a down to a stand is one. Um, you could maybe do four to six of them. If you're doing it now, so it's a bit later on, um, see how we go. Maybe do two, see how he is, do another set of two and then, then stop at maybe four total um, and see how he is doing after that. Um, if he's doing really, really well, then we can um, add in a little bit of walking backwards. Um, if you've got a ramp set up, then we can use the ramp. If not, it's not the end of the world, it's fine. We'll just keep things flat. So, um, let me put this on. <laughs> you are a Wally. What are you? A Wally. So just to very quickly put this here, so this is going to be my ramp. So I've just got the rocker board on the fit bone, just as a quick, quick, quick ramp. And so we start off on the ramp, here you go Rippers, crawl off, up and then walk back. Good. You could come up a bit more and walk back. You tweet. Come, and walk back. Good. Merlin, Rippers, Chippers, Chippers, up and walk back. <laughs> that was a sideways one. You're funny. Good girl, now we get it, rippers, and walk back. Yeah, so he's just going up a small amount each time. Walk, walk back, good. Which will probably be using hands just to guide him a little bit. And that can either be on the floor, so then he's just literally going enough that his back legs maybe do one, two, three, four, if he can manage it. If you're going up a slope, then you're just looking at maybe one, two, possibly three, four, but one, two is fine, because obviously on the slope that's working harder, and we're then working the hips and pelvis that little bit more, um, so we don't obviously want to overwork him. So a few of those, call him forward, ask him to do it again. If need be, have the treat just on the nose or under the chin to get him to walk back. Sometimes you can literally just kind of walk and use your hands to gesture, and he just walks back. Other times he just says, no, I'm gonna sit, I don't know what you're talking about. So uh, <laughs> see what he does on the day if he's too tired to do this now that's not a problem it was just an extra one we didn't do last time because he was too tired so we can add that one in and then we're going to start thinking about calling things back down again 
So we had a look at some sleepies. We did some very nice sleepies, didn't we? Uh, where are you both? Right, so lay down. Down, good, and sleepy. Sleepy, yes. So we want that head to go really low down. So you can do it as a guide, down. Sleepy, and just bring the chin forward slightly, down. Sleepy, good. And you want that chin to go down and forward as much as possible. Um, and try and keep him there. So if you'll hold it like Ripley does, sleepy. Yes, good. Then that's great. If not, Merlin, sleepy. Yes, and just keep him there for a couple more seconds. Because then when he's doing that, he's actually giving himself a, an elbow and shoulder stretch. You're getting neck through the cervical spine, through the, um, the scapula. Nice little bit of a stretch down there because it will stretch down the spine a little bit as well, tiny bit. So um, it's a really nice little stretch to do that's quite easy. Sleepy, no, sleepy, yes. But it needs to be just for a few seconds rather than sleepy and up again, okay? So we do a few of those, guided or not, depending on how he's getting on. We can then have a look at some oh, play bells. So we know what they are, don't we, hey? So, so from a stand, just getting that bend, Good, for a few seconds and then into a nice stand, bend, good, into a nice stand and bend, good boy, go over there and find that, Rippers Chippers Choppers, stand up, bend, good girl, good girl, and back into a stand, good, so for Cooper, we can do maybe four, if he's doing well, no, no, will you get out of the way? Bend. Get your bum up. Yeah, a good girl. And stand. Yeah, it's a good girl. So four to six of those. So getting the bend itself. Good boy. You can treat that. But then we want to encourage him either with food or with noise or something to stand up and lean slightly forward. Okay, so you're totally undoing what he's just done with that play bow. So he goes into that bow and then he stands up nice and straight. <laughs> you're a cheeky boy. <laughs> Merlin's up on here trying to find the food because he's naughty, aren't you? Um, are you cheeky? I think you're bloody cheeky. There you go, you get an extra bit for being a good girl. Uh, so yeah, so four to six of those depending on how he's doing. If he's struggling, then maybe just ask him to do one, praise him, break him off, and then do a second one, praise him and break him off. If he's doing well, four to six of those done in the normal fashion. Then we are just pretty much finishing off one, two, three, four, with the uh, twist and spins, but done nice and slowly. I've moved the camera and now it's come off of the pot it was on. Let's do that. Um, so making sure that he does a complete circle each time. So if he does a spin and then watch the bum come round, I do it here so you can see how straight we get. And spin, and let the bum catch right up. Twist, let him catch up twist and let him catch up yep yeah. so that each time he is nice and straight when he's finished what he's doing uh four bits for rippers chippers as well you've gone past it you wally spin and then straight again and ripley spin and straight good and twist and straighten and twist and straighten i think it went under it's here merlin you've gone straight past it mate it's there good boy um, so then that nice turn, but then he stops nice and straight. That just helps stretch out the sides of the body, work on the adductors and abductors, which is either side of the leg, um, the rear legs, oh, and the front legs. Um, and then when he straightens himself up, it just takes any pressure off of that for a second, and then he goes back into another twist again, okay? Um, a lot of people, not necessarily uh, with Cooper, but I see them in class and I say, right, I'm going to do twists and spins. And they literally go like that and like that. And you see there, twist and spin. The body ends up doing kind of an S shape at one point because they turn the front and then they start the front the other way and the back end hasn't caught up yet. So it's not giving the body a chance to kind of unravel itself. And it's also putting stresses in two different directions, which we don't really want. So that's why we straighten up. So, yep, so we go to there and then that's all we need to do. So the twist and spins, you want at least two in each direction, maybe four in each direction if he's up for that as well. Don't we? Yes, we do. 
um, and then that will be quite a nice workout for him which lasts oh I've got 24 minutes on here so with all the moving about and me faffing around I'd say that gives you a nice 20 minute bit of a workout for Cooper that's more of a thorough workout we're doing it less repetitions but if he's doing really well we could do more you could go back and revisit some of the bits in the middle so things like the straddle where we did the down to the stand you could add that back in again after doing the course um, where we went across the middle of the room um, you could add in another set of cavalettis if you wanted to. You could do a few more repetitions with giving the paw and doing the play bows and things at the end. Um, but if he's tired like he was the other day, then I would say keep it to this or even slightly less repetitions and, and see how he gets on. But if you did this twice in a week, then that would be a really good bit of workout for him. All right, so that's that. I will speak to you, well, I'll speak to you on Tuesday anyway, but I dare say I shall speak to you via text as well. All right, so take care for now. Bye-bye.